morning guys welcome to today's video today is sunday it is amazing day today i'm going to share with you a whole bunch of fun exciting things i've been saving them up i've been saving them up for sunday sunday miracle sunday i'm calling this day i'm calling this vlog miracle sunday probably not going to call this vlog miracle sunday but it's a good title huh first of all a good morning to miss macy miss old macy looking frail and old Yes, but still as happy and as loving as ever in her favorite spot. This is her favorite spot to sleep on the top of the couch where no puppies can get to her. Still looking like a puppy. Macy, don't do that on camera. That's just rude. That's just rude. Okay, so you guys who have been following the saga of our deaf dog, Daisy, we are about to blow your mind. Are you ready, Daisy? Are you ready? Are you ready to blow their mind? Okay, so just a sec. So. Down, good girl. You guys do not know how long it taught us. You guys don't know how long it took us to teach her to lay down. But that's not all. That is not all, you guys. Once we admitted it to ourselves that she was deaf, and then we got two professional opinions. A psychic weighed in and told us that she was definitely deaf, and our vet, our chiropractor who is a vet, told us that 100% deaf. I never ever get old of seeing this dog respond. All right, fine. She can sit. She can lay down. Who cares, Laura? Any dog can do that. She can high five. But not only that, we have learned the hardest lesson of all with our deaf dog. We have learned indoor recall. Oops. Sophie just called her. Oh. She doesn't know where I am. Okay, do it again. All right. She didn't know where I was. Okay, so we're gonna show that to you again. She actually has perfected it. Okay, go stand. I'm Wait. Asleep. Tell me before you do it. Come here, Daisy. 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 Look. Look, Daisy. How about you hold the treats? Daisy. Daisy. All right. We have not perfected it yet. <laughs> okay. All right. You keep her there, and I'll go over here. Puppy. Okay, so we're still working on this a little. Bobby. Keep an eye on Daisy. I'm going to call her to me. Good girl, sit. Good girl. So did you guys see that? I now called her to me. Down. Okay, down. No, nope. sit. Down. No, no, sit. Down. I'm the one that taught it to her. Good girl. Okay, Sophie, call her. Did you see that? Did you see that dog acting like a hearing dog? So Sophie, what's the trick? How do we recall? How do we get Daisy to acknowledge that we're calling her? Stop her feet. We use vibration. See, she pays attention. And then we do this. And then that's the sign for come. So what? Sit. Sit. Stay. Stay. Come. Good girl. I dropped it. Good girl! Definitely harder to do when I'm shooting with a camera. Okay. I have a camera I'll in one it. hand. I'll okay, do so people do it. Stay, stay. Okay, do it. How is that, you guys? Woohoo! High five did, to us. I didn't, I didn't teach her how to come doing this. She just kind of Yeah, a lot of our training was just natural. Before we even admitted to ourselves that Daisy was a deaf dog, we started, Sophie usually, started instinctually training her. You guys know that things, when things work, you Watch. figure it out. Yes, good girl. I don't even have to tap her. But you have to tell her, good girl, yeah. Such a good princess. I don't even have to tap the ground. That's how good she is. So, uh, yeah, there you have it. There you have it. A miracle number one. We found out that our dog was 100% deaf for sure. Changed the way we started training her. And instant success. In the past, we've never ever been able to do recall with her. Sophie, whenever she would do something wrong, like go upstairs and Sophie needed to get her, she would stomp to the stairs and Daisy would turn around and come running down. So we knew vibration was the way to teach this girl. Come in. Oh. Sometimes I have to tap it. Yeah, I tap she the floor. She loses interest very fast. No, she doesn't. She actually does lose interest well, appropriate for a six-month-old puppy. She's she not... She really likes food. Yeah, she's... 
Yeah. So anyways, we got a dog. We got a dog again. It's been amazing. We verified with our breeder that both of her parents were bear tested and that they are both hearing, apparently. We were not expecting a deaf dog, but when God throws you something like this, it's always a, it's always a part of the bigger picture. I have felt for a long time that God is going to be sending me something that is going to need me to be able to think outside the box, something that is not standard, regular, normal, and I'm gonna to have to find a new way to adapt, and I think that that is what Daisy is bringing to our family, teaching us to adapt, be adaptable. So that's her new trick. So uh, the very last thing that we're really gonna be working on, obviously there are more tricks that we can teach her. The last thing we're gonna be working on is being able to let her run outside and being able to recall outside with a lot of other dogs around. You guys see we put the dogs, other dogs out of the room so that we could, so that Daisy could concentrate on us. Makes it a little bit easier. When she's outside and she's running, it's gonna be a little bit different, but I have a plan, you guys. Maybe by next Miracle Sunday, we'll be able to show you that we can get Daisy to come to us outside. She thinks she's being so quiet climbing up the stairs. Yeah, and well, she's like, like clonk, clonk, clonk. Yeah, she has no idea that she's deaf and she's the happiest little girl. Ah, 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 ah. Do it, do it. Good girl. If you guys don't know, so if we told you guys yesterday that if she gets a thousand views, on her TikTok video, was likes, it a, no. likes? Because I would have already had this. Was it on TikTok? Yeah. If she gets a thousand view uh, likes on her TikTok video, then I promise to buy her a bearded dragon, right? And then eight hundred and six. Eight hundred and six. <laughs> What's your TikTok? At Finn and Sophie. At Finn and Sophie. So please get me there. I eight hundred and six. Uh, yeah. Likes. So she did trick me into telling her that I would give her a bearded dragon if she got a thousand likes. But here's the thing. I thought about it and I'm not ready for a new pet. I have too much on my plate. I cannot, and you guys know, you guys might not know, bearded dragons are a lot of work. You have to have everything exactly right. No, 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 I'm gonna buy you a bearded dragon. If you get a thousand likes, I'm gonna buy you a bearded dragon, but here's the deal. What? You have to do the whole entire thing yourself. Okay, so you need to research the tank that you need. You need to research what kind of heating source you have to, you have to research all the things that you need. Find them on Amazon or at a pet store. Uh, a person that I watch has a um, bearded dragon and they give it crickets. Yes, well there's and a lot more to bearded dragons than crickets and mealworms. They have to have temperature control, they have to have- Yeah, I know. There's, I need to get a heated light, maybe two. But there are different kinds of heated lights that you need. Yeah, we need the ones specifically for the bearded dragon. Yeah, and- If I got a snake, we'd have to get a different heated lamp. Okay, so I'm gonna buy you a bearded dragon, but for you to get it, you have to be prepared. So basically, you're gonna research all the things that you need, you're gonna find the things that you need. Can we get a snake instead? And then we'll buy it. And On your account? yeah, I will pay for everything and buy you the bearded dragon, but you need to research. Did you know that they ha need different kinds of lights for different kinds of things? If you change one thing the wrong way, that it can stunt their growth and they won't yeah, even so grow. These you oh, can we get a baby? Yes. We get a baby. But you have to research how to take care of a baby. So you need to prove to me so that you do all the work and then I will get you the bearded dragon. Hey Siri. Sophie's already shopping for her bearded dragon. She's forgetting the part. I have to get it already first. Yeah. And then if it hits a thousand likes, then everything's all ready. But you have to research it. You have to read and figure out what, or watch videos and figure out what is the best thing that they need. You have to do the lighting and the tank and anyway, she's shopping. That's what she's doing. She's my daughter for sure. And this girl, oh my God, where are your clothes? It's the coldest day of the year, Gabby. You have to wear a coat. You have to wear a coat. Going Mom, I some it doesn't matter. You can't go out like it's I summer. Some new yeah, you can order them. Yeah, we're gonna. I like crows better. You like crows better? I love a crow. Okay, get a coat. I'm not joking. So it is true. It is supposed to be minus 25 degrees today. Minus 25. Celsius, cold as heck. Penny's down there looking at me like, come down and visit me. There's so much pressure having horses at home, you guys. What Penny doesn't know is that it's a Penny day and today we are gonna be 
down there. We're gonna work on our course. I can't wait to share with you what part we are at and what we have to work on. Something, something so easy that anybody can do it. Also in a Daisy update, I wanted to tell you guys that I contacted her, uh, her since we got it verified by a vet that she's deaf, I am, uh, I contacted her breeder and said like, I just wanted you to know that blah, 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 that she is deaf. And she said that she was really sorry and that um, since we, she is really sorry, we bought her with a health guarantee and that we are entitled to 50% back. Isn't that crazy? Like we don't even want any money back because we love her and she's amazing and she's overcome all the odds. Like she's a great puppy. She offered to give me 50% back for her, which is a lot of money. Good job, Gabby, good choice. Good choice, Gabby, good choice. First stop, Starbucks, you guys. Not for me, because I don't drink coffee. I, you have to order. All right, so the girls are gonna try something completely. Okay, you're ordering for me first. All right, so the girls. In my name, not oh yours. my God, okay, here we go. Right, they're making it. We all got one, even I got one. I caved, you guys. Sophie and I got it without coffee. Out the in way. Chocolate, chocolatey no, chip frappuccino. Chocolatey oh, chip Matthew. frappuccino. And it's good, but I can assure you that Starbucks is not as good as Tim Hortons. Like in Canada, our big chain is Tim Hortons. Starbucks is not as good. Like they don't Starbucks use- Starbucks is the best. It, it's like it's the name. People love it because of the name. Like Starbucks, I'm getting Starbucks. It's got like, I don't know how to describe it. It's not as good as Tim Hortons. Like Tim Hortons it. needs to up their game with their tight with their name brand. Like Tim Hortons, not as what's the name of the guy? Here? Not as nice of a name as Starbucks. We are back to the dollar store. Back to the dollar store. All right, so basically we are back at the dollar store, and I forget what I wanted. But look at this. They have the water bottles. That it took us like we had to order them. Water bottle and food bottle at the pet store now. Oh, and look, they have boots for Ruby. We have boots, red ones. Um, I bought this toy, it's still intact, so I'm buying this one that floats. Oh, that's a good one. For summer. Yeah. And, oh wait, and this one. Because I think Molly will treat it better. Wait, oh, these are extra large. Look at these, reflective collar and leash. They're really nice, actually. Okay, Gabby, look. I got, I found these. And they're actually a really good price, and they're nice. Oh, those are cute. They're, um, flir they're neon colors. Mm -hmm. Molly. Molly? Yeah. I got every color. Oh, so those things I said look like breast got implants? They plastic straws. Oh my gosh, oh my God, you are not. Can you move? Oh my gosh. Okay, just wait. Oh, I love it. I just want to get one candy. I like the, these ones too, are nice. These ones, I like this one because it's crazy and this one because it's calm. Kaylee's hair, my hair. My hair, this is it naturally. I didn't do anything to it, I just brushed it. Mom, are you like me? Okay, what Sophie, you look. Do you like any of these? Yes, I like both of them. Thank you. I'll buy one, you buy one. No, just pick one. one. Do you like all the All right, plants? I was thinking about meatloaf. I love meatloaf. Do you like all my fake plants? Oh, I'm getting this for Molly because it floats for some Look at, do you want a new collar for uh, Ruby? Because her collar has gotten really yeah. how rude. We need to see if there's anything for a bearded dragon. All right, see if there's anything for a bearded dragon. Oh my god, Molly needs this. It's a rubber ball. It's rubber. There's pink in the, in the back. So the thing I really want to find is like a magnifier. You know how like you, like when I knit or crochet, I can never see, it's always dark. And I've seen these lights that hang around your neck and then they light up. I want something like that. All right, this is what Gabby needs. Air bud organizer, it's magnetic. You just throw them on there and they never get lost. What we need for our van to hook our phone up but none of our phones take that. 
So is there a converter that we can get? So we plug this into the converter and it converts to the phone? I don't know, I've got to ask. Like where you put the charging Mom, cable on? Ask Dad. We need this for her AirPods. I know, I saw them. I She's, have one. I'm she got one. Black. She got plain black. All right, let's keep going. Toys for Molly. These two are for swimming. And this one, this is great. My little plant. Okay, I told you guys, totaled breast implants. I'm getting one. That might have gone a little crazy in there because we uh, went crazy at the dollar store. Oh, I don't even know what Sophie got. I'm I try and be all my fidget toys. Oh my gosh. Yeah, guess what I got? I got myself a fidget toy. Oh, is it the breast oh. implant? Oh, love that thing. Um, see if Daisy can eat these. All right, let's see. Guarantee, Daisy. And they don't have any yeast. It doesn't matter. It has beef and cheese. It has beef. She can't have beef. Can she have one? No. Look at this find I got. Gabby got a good find. What is it? It's a dog undercoat rake. Oh, that'll Molly. be good for summer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and for Daisy, you guys might not know, but they, uh, Dalmatians are the like a heavy, heavy shedders. They have that little tawny yeah. fine hair that flies up into the air and gets all in your food. Yeah, we didn't have any dogs that really did that before. Our, our dog hair situation is not bad, but it's about to change. Mom. Anyway, we went to the dollar store. Black balls, you guys, black balls, and they're sticky. Um, we went to the dollar store because Gabby's making a video on her channel. You guys are gonna wanna watch it. It'll probably be up in the next few days. Anyway, now we're headed home and we're gonna do the work with our ponies that I, I told you guys. I got eyeball, and I got vine bag, and Let's I got an eyeball. This is the one Ooh, from the vine bag. Splat. Woo-wee. Cold. Molly, come on. Um, another thing that I got at the tax store yesterday was I got more supplement for Penny and Willow. I give them this uh, quiescence. I shouldn't show you guys. Everybody's buying them because they see how amazing this supplement works on our horses and now it's hard to get them. I also bought two huge bags of Martin's treats because we are going through them with our course. I like to fill my pockets with the treats before I work with Penny. So uh, let's see, she saw me coming down here. So let's see what her attitude is gonna be like. Oh, you guys, she heard me coming into the barn. Hey, Penny Pickle, hello. I'm gonna work with you today. Oh, I can tell her eyes we've increased. Oh, oh my goodness, that is uncalled for. The next, so the first step was to learn how to get our horses to join up with us. Our horses are already joined, joined up with us, so that's awesome. Um, then we did, we chose three of the eight uh, ABC games, or three of the eight ABCs to work with them. And so there are eight ABCs. They are head down, back up, walking forward, up, neutral, shoulders, hips, and sideways. Those are the ABCs. And so each of us need to perfect those things in this next step of the stage. So all that the next two weeks is about, last week and this week, is about perfecting these eight things. So I'm gonna go and I'm gonna do these things with Penny. The girls are gonna come down. We're gonna switch off and we're gonna do each of them, each of the eight ABCs with our horse and get them working on it. So the first one, is head down. I'm gonna try that one. First, get her to join up to me. Girl, yeah. Okay. Down. Yes. 
What a good girl. Head down. Yes. You gotta touch it. Bump. Yeah. Let me do it one more time. Head down. Yes. What a good girl. She's meant to touch my hand with her nose when I do head down. Head down. Yes, good girl. Okay, so now I'm gonna do a back up. Ken, you ready to back up? Okay. Girl. Okay, so I'm just gonna use my hand and tell her to back up. Good girl. Good girl, yes. Yes, oh yes. Good girl. Okay, I'm gonna do it again. Back up. Yes. Yes. That's me. <coughs> Molly. It's the cats. Molly. So the next thing is walking forward. So I'm gonna try and get her to walk forward. I think we struggled with this one a little bit in the past, so I'm gonna try it right now. Look, she did it! I just said walk forward and she walked forward. Just joking. Okay, come over here. Say that we got walking forward per perfect. naturally with no whips no ropes no nothing this is just all natural with me and penny so we did walking forward we did legs didn't she nail the legs um now it's neutral the last the hardest ones are coming so neutral is not too bad but it's not her best she's meant to just stand still while I move around her body and move my body so that she doesn't get spooky and she fails at that she fails at that every single time so now I'm gonna work on her shoulders and see if I can get her to move her shoulders her hips and then go sideways okay I'm gonna try and push her shoulders. Nope. Nope. I'm gonna to go backwards. Nope. This way. This way. This way. Nope. Nope. Yes. Good girl. Good girl. Let's try that again. Shoulders. Nope. Not backwards. So obviously it's the shoulders, the hips, and the sideways that I'm gonna really struggle with. I'm gonna stop my part of the video here. I'm gonna work on it a little bit, and then I'm gonna have the girls demonstrate that with their ponies. part of the thing is making the ponies leaving before the ponies get tired so that they want to join up they want to do this liberty like they want to keep doing it so that is the thing you leave the session before they get tired
working on the eight ABCs for this whole week until we get our new lesson next week. So I'm gonna message, so there's a Facebook group, I'm gonna go on there and I'm gonna tell them the problems that we're having, uh, ask a couple of questions and see if I can get like the, the, getting them to move their body like sideways and move their hips and move their shoulders is a bit hard for all of our horses. But I wanna know in the comments below, which horse do you think is gonna nail this? Like in the end, when we are like trying to get them to lay down and lunge without any ropes or whips or anything, which one of our horses do you think is going to nail this? Penny, Penny, be nice. Be nice, you already ate all my treats. I got no more treats. So you guys see that her eyes are getting better? They're not red anymore. Anyway, as I said for today, I saved us so many miracles for Miracle Sunday. Um, I have uh, something else that I want to share with you and show you. Oh, Sam's here. Something else that's gonna be amazing that I'm gonna share with you and show you tomorrow. So make sure you stay tuned. Sam brought the Daisy dog down. <laughs> the deaf Daisy dog. She's got her new leash. We bought new leashes and collars for all the dogs at the dollar store. They're actually really cute. Ruby, come here. Show them your collar, sit. This is, hey, stay. This is, stay. This is Ruby's right here. She got orange and of course Molly got pink. We're gonna bring the horses in. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Don't you know that you're beautiful?